Hey guys, and welcome back to another Trek Yards special announcement. We have an awesome guest joining us today. Samuel, who do we have joining us? Well, not just a man that I think you'll recognize from Star Trek, fair to say, both official, unofficial, other TV shows, and, well, doing indiegogo crowd crowdfunding, just a filmmaker as well, which is what I love. So I want to introduce the one and only Manu and Taremi, or Ichab from Voyager. Hi, Manu, how are you doing today? Hi, I, I, I go by Borg Boy too. I pretty much okay. anything you want. If it's in Manu and Tereme, Manu and Tiriami, anything close. I got to I, I got to jump in. Can can I call you Itchy? Is that acceptable? Itchy is totally acceptable. I've been awesome. known to have you know. I think someone called me Itchy in a supermarket once. I turned around and so, I know that. So who's your scratchy then? <laughs> Did you have that that scratchy in your life? <sighs> I wish well, I had scratchy that. Was scratchy was Cuball, wasn't it? Cue ball, yeah. Cue ball was my little scratchy. There you go. Cute little old. Uh, what, what's his name? <laughs> the mini, the mini Q. <laughs> Mr. Keegan Delancey. Yes. Keegan that Delancey. guy grew up to be a set, a stud. He's like a diplomat for the United Nations now, wow. like running around wow. doing important things. And what are you doing, Ichab or Manu or? Billy, what are you doing? I mean, what are you, what are you doing? Boy is just making movies and and. <laughs> television and uh you know it, making things that spread empathy around the world but really you know I, I actually have this deep passionate belief that when you make a good film you bring people closer together mm. but i also don't think you can put like there's like this yin and yang behind it right because it's beautiful and you see it a powerful film and it affects you it makes you feel closer to your fellow man and women and people outside your situation that you would have never related to or had empathy mm -hmm. for films do that and mm -hmm. i think that's important but then also you know it's just a movie so you can't be too can't get your head too full about what you're doing exactly the united nations like making countries get along so so we have, uh, of course, met you before, Manu, and that was in uh, Denver at Denver Comic Con. We went out for supper with you and uh, had a great time. And then you came up back up to our hotel room and we did some on-the-spot interviews with you. And uh, nothing nothing bad, obviously. Uh, but uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about... Uh, I don't even know where I'm going with that. Yeah, work Samuel. with us? What's the... Yeah. I remember that experience. I, re I remember I, I went to Denver Comic Con and for like the first two days while I was signing, about every hour or so, I would look across the, the 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 convention floor, and I would see these two weird guys just staring at me. And then when I would catch them staring at me, they'd like ditch, and I I wouldn't see them again. A couple hours later, I'd just find them somewhere else staring at me. And um, a couple days in, I'm going, who are these guys? And then all of a sudden, I turn around, and they're right there behind me, and they're all hi. We're the Trek Yards boys. Will you come to our hotel room? <laughs> do an interview with us. And I that's was not like, too creepy. Oh, man, this is one of those things. I don't know. Uh, no, but we met and we hit it off right away. And uh, we went out to dinner with a few friends of mine. Um, Mike, I think Mike Morell came with us. Uh, one of my producers on a couple of the films I've done, and we had a great time. And I, I mean, obviously, we've seen you on screen in that guise, but again, to have a, you know an hour or so with you interviewing you, I, I really enjoyed that because we clearly have a, a shared passion of film. And I think we did more than we either of us expected in terms of interviewing because we had such a, even though we were both tired, we we, got, we gained that energy. And there's a lot of projects we want to talk to you about. I mean, I want to see Fifth Passenger. I want to see The Circuit, which we'll talk about in a bit. We've obviously seen Renegades. And you've done a lot of things, and please keep trying to do them. But let's have a little Trek discussion as well, just before. So we're known for Ejeb. How cool is that? Just give, because we want to talk other things. Let's just throw out the how cool is that question, and then we'll, we'll talk about other things. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. I mean... I remember I, I, I did a teeny bopper film called um, Whatever It Takes uh, at the time, right before Voyager with Colin Hanks, I'm going to name drop here, and Aaron Paul and Ben Foster and some of the big names of the day, James Franco was in it. And that sort of like gave me uh, some sort of credential to start auditioning for bigger shows and bigger parts. And when I got the audition for Star Trek, I mean, I was on pins and needles. I was, I was excited. And... Um, getting the role I mean I remember getting the phone call I was in my apartment in Hollywood I dropped the phone when my agent called and started running around the house screaming and doing the like cheese ball uh, home alone move <laughs> um, I was excited and then two, you know two years of 
working on a spaceship, uh, even though you get up at like 3.30 in the morning, you get to set at like 4.45, you work long hours, but that cast was, they were incredible people, the stories, the, the writing was good, and it was it was two solid years of, you know, you have to say the money, the money was good, but it wasn't about that, it was about getting to work on a spaceship, man, getting to play pretend on a three-set spaceship, a gigantic gigantic set um it was always and then after you get off the show then it's been you know 16 17 years now of being able to travel around the world meet folks like you and uh get involved in the community and and uh get to meet people from all the other star treks and what was neat for me i'm an i'm an old guy you see the gray hair coming through here but it, what was neat for me is it's when it started it was just Star Trek conventions and then it turned into like science fiction conventions and now you go to a convention and I'll find myself hanging out with like Harry Potter and uh, who knows that, who else uh, you know Harry Potter and um, the last time I was at a convention it was him and before she passed away um, the wonderful woman Princess Leia was across from me and Knight Rider was on my right at dinner so it was just, you know, this completely surreal experience um, and lots of love from the fans after 16 years of being on TV, you know, they're still, they still show you love and loyalty and it's, it's, it's how cool is that? It wraps it up pretty much. I got a quick question about the Voyager sets. How detailed were these sets? I know they got kind of destroyed so nobody saw them after the fact, but I... I would love to know how much detail went into those sets. How, how sturdy were they? Well, it's a little known f fact, and actually this is something that we all keep secret, but uh, they were all green screens. There was actually nothing built. <laughs> See, I had a suspicion. It was just too, yeah. Mm. That, mm. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. And just walking around with just green. D does that mean that you each work on different days and no one actually worked together? It was all just composite scenes as well? Yeah, no, we never met. I never met really anybody from the Voyager cast until we started doing uh, conventions, conventions and yeah. then I would meet them. But sometimes conventions are done with green screens too. People don't know that. <laughs> Truth is we're all actually holograms and we're not even really physical reality, but you know, we don't yet to get into the, you know, how deep it goes. You know, it's yeah. funny speaking of we just released Rob Picardo's uh, uh, FCD interview or uh, pa panel today, so yeah. Mm -hmm. We had some hologram on our channel. But, Manu, there's lots of things to talk about with you in the future. So, no, in this introduction. I, I, give me a, I'll give you okay. a real answer okay. first. Okay. Uh, the, the sets were incredibly detailed and they were they were incredibly well done. I, I don't want to take away from all the guys that designed that ship and, and did all that work. Uh, I mean, when you looked at a panel, I'm, it, it was amazing the writing and all the, the, the creativity that went into every little bit of that set. And when they would, we would go out to like a, a new planet, and we would go to like the rock quarry, uh, for for example, in Child's Play, they had built uh, you know this incredible set in probably like a week's time of all these different alien buildings and the plants that were growing in them, and they'd find these weird plants that I'd never seen before from who knows where they got them, uh, and in incredible detail, and it was that's always what made it so easy to act was that you felt like you were there. Beautiful. I'll, I'll do my extra again, Stuart. Uh, Stuart. Stuart. Oh, everyone, everyone. Too many people here today. Yes, thank you, Manu. Uh, we look forward to speaking to you on all these different things. And also your up and coming web series, The Circuit, which I am excited for. But that is more to come in other videos with him. Yeah. So hey, thank you guys for having me. I love Trek Yards. Love talking to you guys every time. It's a pleasure to be here. Love your show. Awesome. All right, guys, there you have it. Another great special guest to add to our lineup. And Such we look lineup. forward to many more discussions with him in the future. So until next time, I'm Captain Foley. I'm Connor Cockins. Oh, and I'm Ichip, uh, Borg Boy from Star Trek Voyager, Manu Ente Reme. Otherwise okay. known as Itchy. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I can't even do the Star Trek eye anymore. I used to have control over that thing. It's fade to black, fade to black.